So we got this kit. I think I figured out why it's not shutting. A moment of truth. That didn't sound good. <laughs> oh, yikes. That's not good, guys. So here's one. And here's the other. What's up, you guys? Welcome back for another video. So we've got, we don't really have anything big to do today, but we have quite a bit of little things to do. So the first thing we're going to do, we just got to do the door pins on the diesel. Good job. I hope you guys saw that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've, uh, so I'll show you when we get back, but we have a huge puddle of transmission fluid. Um, not in the driveway, but in the street at his grandma's house. And it's pretty bad. So yeah, this is all from his transmission leaking. Like that's really bad. Look in the front. Yeah. So this is why we need to do something about his leak. Because <laughs> that is really bad. Um, wish we could have prevented that from happening, but obviously it happened. So we need to try to figure out where everything's leaking and there's quite a few spots that we already know of and see if there's anything we can do to prevent that from continuing but Kyler does have one plan um power driven diesel sells a kit right yeah yeah so above all new like transmission lines and stuff so we are going to end up doing that here in the future but um basically right now we just need to do some maintenance stuff got to look over everything and see what else we can do and yeah so that's where we're gonna start we're gonna go ahead and start working on his door pins and his door hasn't shut for like a couple months now sorry i know the lighting's kind of crazy but his door hasn't shut for like a hot minute now so we that's why we got to do those it literally just doesn't shut and it even opens when he's driving so we got to figure that out like bad i drive on the interstate way too much to have the door pins messed up and have the door not seal all the way yeah for real and what are you doing right now <laughs> A uh, spacer for the jack to hold up the door while we're working on the hinges and yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just puts them all together. That's, yeah. Then hopefully nothing's gonna slip. <laughs> it doesn't help the door. Bottom of the door is slanted. Yeah. It <laughs> Just breaks the hinges off. Well, the problem is because it's there's you know yeah i know the slant like yeah. Yeah, yeah like that have you guys noticed that like every video like every other video it's nice out one day there's snow everywhere and then the next day it's like summer welcome to montana yeah welcome to montana there's never a set season i swear <laughs> it's either winter or construction <laughs> and really winter doesn't even seem to exist half the time <laughs> I wonder what went wrong today, eh? Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. for the door pin right here there is no like real way to get it out because uh, it kind of had like it was kind of like that if you can see it um but anyways so kyler literally just took his drill and drilled down yeah, right here i don't know if you can see focus but he drilled all of this down um so that it would come out because it looked like that side and yeah because we couldn't really hook up a grinder here to just cut it out and now he's been fighting with this thing for a hot minute now because he couldn't get the bushing out i think he just keeps making it worse <laughs> all that footage but the spring came out and it took Kyler like 20 minutes to get that damn thing back in <laughs> so it's finally in just got the other door pin in so now we've only got one to go and then we can move on 
So let's go ahead and get that done. The hinges kept splitting apart every time we kept trying to like um, push the pin through to get it out. So we just stopped. Um, and because Kyler did get that spring to fly out, it just kind of took a lot of our time. So we had to stop. What's up you guys it's the next day so uh as you saw we didn't finish the pins in the door um we still have one left and we just couldn't finish the job right thing so we didn't have enough time so we're gonna go ahead and finish that up today we've also got a few other things in mind it's just kind of like a simple day like i said we're just doing random odds and ends here we might end up actually using a restoration kit on his headlights so anyways let's finish up this door pin situation so I think I figured out why it's not shutting. <laughs> Any guesses, guys? <laughs> That's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. So he got it out while I wasn't paying attention. So at least it's finally out since we couldn't get it out yesterday. So this is kind of like holding it all together right now. And I made it to where the hinge wouldn't spread on me when I was punching the pin out. But now I got to remove it, so... I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't want the door to like fall off. This lighting is horrible. Now, moment of truth. That didn't sound good. <laughs> That's what it looks like normally. I don't think it held. It didn't do anything. It seems like whenever I'm on a slope like this, it does that. The door is definitely not loose though. Well that guys, that's what's been going on with the door for the past couple months and it's even opened while he's been driving countless times. So, isn't that plate new? Yeah. What are you doing? It was all wrinkled. It's almost like it's too high now, but it's not in a bad way. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, it still sure. latches, doesn't it? It latches, but just not all the way. Yeah, you see it's that? It's the same exact thing that's been happening. Yeah. I know, I don't think I've ever gotten it to shut, so... <laughs> I have, like, twice. Huh. I don't know, if you guys have got any ideas as to what's up with our door problem, please comment down below, because... I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I might end up just replacing that, but I don't want to. Look at how dinged up it is. It's rough. Alrighty. Let's do headlights. Yeah. So we got this kit. I've done this before. Um, my, one of my, when I was a tire tech, we actually did this at my work. So I've done this a few times. And then we all, I also did it to my car once. But we're going to go ahead and do it to the Cummins because... I don't know if you see that, but they're really bad. Ooh, there's a lot of water in there. Yeah, I know. I want to figure out if we can get the water out of them. Yeah, they're pretty bad. You can't... Eh. Honestly, the camera's not even really showing how yellow they are, just that they're foggy. But you actually really can't see it all when you're driving, even with his brights on. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these to look a little bit better. All right, so we don't have a spray bottle and you kind of got to like spray the headlights when you do it. So we're just going to like dump some water on it. I don't know if that will like cause any problems or not, but that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get it done. Why 
do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words to remember. Um, cause I, it kind of like dries up really fast and I haven't done the other headlight. But here's one and here's the other. I mean, there's a pretty good difference. The camera doesn't really show how yellow that is, but yeah. So, there's the difference. I think it looks pretty good. Now let's go see what Kyler's up to. What are you doing? Uh, putting washers and spacers on the tailgate hinges to try to get it to line up side to side perfect. And... I don't think we've told them what's up with the tailgate. Well, go for it. <laughs> so basically, his bed is spreading apart um and so his tailgate doesn't shut because it's literally opening so yeah it kind of sucks <laughs> way better wow there's water in that one though but what would you like to see why my bed is falling apart why is it falling apart <laughs> oh yikes that's not good guys it's already been welded and it just rusted back out damn damn and i don't we don't actually know the story of this truck but the original color of the cab is black and the original color of the bed is white and i'm the second owner if you don't count the dealership yeah, that the dealership. you bought it from yeah so we actually don't know what happened why the bed is like this but so that sucks it's already a different bed and we've got that problem here's the tailgate <laughs> Which came out of Idaho, I believe it was. Yeah, somebody um, before Kyler bought the truck, or I think it might have been after, right? No, it was before. Okay, actually. And the taillights. Yeah, stole the taillights and the tailgate off the truck at the dealership. And so he had to put new ones on. I didn't have to do taillights. No, the, the yeah, the dealership had to. Didn't the dealership only make like 50 cents off of you? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wow. See, it just popped right out. Yep. Oh, man. I even it put washers in there for spacers and gains about an eighth inch on either side. Yeah. And I still got that much play. Wow. That sucks. So, yeah. <laughs> today's video i hope you enjoyed i know that we just kind of did some weird odds and ends but if you did make sure you give this video a like so it would really help us out and we'd really appreciate it and if you want to see more of the love or the diesel then make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap and make sure that you turn on those post notifications because you don't want to miss out when our new videos come out but that's going to be it for today's video thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one